Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about multiple database connection. So let's see how can we use multiple database connection in Laravel 8. So first of all, let's create databases. So just open uh, PHP MyAdmin. And now just click on databases. And here just enter the database name. Uh, let's say database name is Laravel. D Laravel 8 DB1 okay now just click on create now create one more database so just uh, enter this another database name so just write here Laravel 8 DB2 okay and now just click on create all right now let's configure these databases in our project. So switch to the project and just open .env file. And inside this env file, uh, let's copy this line uh, from here to here. And just copy and paste here. Now just rename this. So just write here db connection2, uh, db underscore host2 and port2 database2 and username and password2 alright now just uh, add here database first database here so just write here laravel 8db1 ok user id username root and password blank alright now just add here the second database name so just write here laravel 8db2 alright and username root and password blank ok now save this file now just close this file and uh, just go inside the config directory and uh, from here just open database.php file and inside this file uh, from here just copy this mysql ok from here to here alright now just copy this and uh, here now just to rename this so just write here 2 and also db underscore host so just write here 2 port 2 database 2 user 2 password 2 all right now save this file now configuration complete Now let's create uh, two model. So switch to the command prompt and here just type the command php artisan make colon model and model name. Uh, let's say model name is student and also create the migration. So just write here dash m and now press enter. Create another model. So just write here php artisan make colon model and let's say model name is post ok and just add here dash m for the migration now switch to the project and uh, just open the migrations so just go inside the database directory and migration and uh, from here just open create a student table migration ok and inside this migration let's add some column here so just write here dollar table a string and add here the column name name another column so just write here dollar table a string and a column name email dollar table arrow a string column name phone now save this file and just copy this data uh, table name and just go inside the students model so just click on app then models and just open a student model and here just add the table name so right here protected dollar table is equal to write here the table name which is students ok now save this file 
I will just open the first create uh, post table migration, this one, and here uh, just add some column. So just write here dollar table data type string and column name. Uh, let's say title and another column data type text and just write here the column name body all right now save this file and copy this table name and now and here also add the connection okay so just write here connection uh, here I am just going to use a second connection, second database. So just write here second connection name which is MySQL. Alright. Connection and connection name which is MySQL2. Alright, now save this file. Now go to the uh, post model and here just add the first of all add the connection. So just write here protect dollar connection is equal to write here the connection name which is mysql2 all right and also add the table name so just write here protected dollar table is equal to table name which is posts all right okay now save this file and now let's migrate this migration so switch to the command prompt and here just type the command php artisan migrate all right now press enter okay migration complete uh, let's check the database so just uh, inside the laravel db2 database just refresh the database and here you can see the post table okay now just open the laravel uh, 8db one database okay and inside this database you can see here the students table all right now let's insert and uh, fetch records uh, from both databases so let's create a controller so just write here php artisan make controller and let's say controller name is test controller all right now press enter now switch to the project and uh, just close this file now just open test controller so uh, go inside the app directory http controllers and just open test controller okay now first of all just add here the model so just write here use app slash models slash models name uh, first add here the student model and now just add the post model so just write here use app models and post model okay now inside this controller class let's create a function for inserting record into the student table so just write here public function and function name now let's say function name is add student right and inside this let's create uh, an array here so just write here students is equal to array and inside this array uh, just write here name let's say image smith email just add here the email id smith at the rate gmail.com all right now add here the phone number phone um, let's say phone number is this okay now just copy this and paste here now change the name uh, let's say Jennifer email id is jennifer at the rate gmail.com and phone number this okay now here just write a student and call the insert function so just write here insert and inside this uh, 
as here the students okay so just write here dollar students now return here a message the records the students record the students are added okay now let's create another function for inserting record into the post post table so just write here public function and a function name let's say function name is add post and inside this let's create an array so just write here post is equal to and inside this array uh, just write here title let's say title is first post title and add here the body first post description all right now just copy and paste here just change your second second post and here just add second post description and here just write post and call the insert function so just write your insert and inside this function just pass here this dollar post all right and simply return a message here post are created all right now save this file and let's create the routes so just go inside the route directory and then open web.php file and here just create the route so just write here route get and let's say what i is add the student add here the controller name so just write your controller name which is test controller all right and also add here the controller name and now just add here colon colon class then function name okay and function name is add student so just copy this and paste here now create the route for the post so just write here route get add post add here the uh, controller name list controller colon colon class and then function name which is add post all right now save this file and now uh, let's run this so switch to the command prompt and just type here the command php artisan sorry okay now switch to the browser and just go to the url add student all right and here you can see the students are added i'll just add here the post so just write here add dash post post are created okay now let's check inside the database table so just click on browse and here you can see the post okay first post and second post now inside the uh, first database just browse the students table so just click on browse and inside this table a student table you can see here the first student record and second student record right now let's uh, fetch these records so inside the controller uh, let's create another function for fetching the record so just write here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is just to get students all right and inside this just write here dollar students is equal to a student colon colon all all right and just return here dollar students now create the function for a post so just write here public function and function name get posts and inside this just write here dollar posts 
is equal to post column column all and uh, here just return dollar posts all right now create the route so inside the web.php file just write here route get and let's say your i is a students students add here the controller name test controller colon colon class and add here the function name which is uh, get a students so just copy and paste here and now create the route for the post so just write here get slash posts test controller column column class and then just write here the function name which is this one get posts all right now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and just type here the url is students and here you can see the students record okay and if i go to the url posts and here you can see the post post records okay So in this way, you can use multiple database connection in Laravel 8. So that's all about multiple database connection. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.